today we look at a topic unrestrained or semi definite or degenerate systems so what is the meaning of this so the meaning is the system can move freely so it means it is unrestrained so the other names are unrestrained or semi definite or degenerate systems so the system which can move freely is called as these three names okay so for simplicity purposes we'll consider a two degree of freedom system um, if you remember we have done numericals on two degree of freedom systems where uh, we had two springs and two mass or three springs and two mass but we had not solved a numerical where it is just having one spring and two mass so we we'll look at this and then uh, take this to multi degree of freedom system uh, problems so this is the free body diagram for this mass and for this mass this is a free body diagram so what you get is m1 x1 uh, double dot plus k into x1 minus x2 equal to 0 m2 x2 double dot plus k into x2 minus x1 equal to 0 so if you put x is equal to a sin omega t and then take the x double dot you get minus m1 omega square a1 plus k a1 minus k a2 equal to 0 another equation would be minus m2 omega square a2 plus k a2 minus k a1 equal to 0 so this would be k minus m1 omega square minus k minus k k minus m2 omega square multiplied by a1 a2 equal to 0 so this is of the form uh, determinant a minus lambda i uh, should be equal to 0 so this is a minus lambda i this matrix is a minus lambda i so put omega square is equal to lambda then you get taking the determinant it would be k minus m1 lambda minus k this would be minus k and k minus m2 lambda equal to 0 so this determinant should be equal to 0 so it is k minus m1 lambda taking the determinant k minus m2 lambda minus k square is equal to 0 so simplifying this we get simplifying this we get k square minus m2 lambda k minus m1 lambda k plus m1 m2 lambda square minus k square is equal to 0 so the, this k square and k square gets uh, cancelled and m1 m2 lambda square minus m1 k lambda minus m2 k lambda is equal to 0 this can be written as m1 m2 lambda square minus m1 plus m2 k into lambda equal to 0 so if you take lambda common it would be m1 m2 lambda minus m1 plus m2 into k equal to 0 so the first root we can say lambda 1 is equal to 0 so the second root would be m1 m2 lambda is equal to 
एम वन प्लस एम टू इन टू के सो लैमडा टू वुड बी एम वन सो दिस फ्रॉम दिस आई एम टेकिंग द सेकेंड रूट सो एम वन प्लस एम टू इन टू के डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन एम टू सो इफ लैमडा वन इज जीरो द रूट दैट इज ओमेगा एन वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इफ लैमडा टू इज जीरो omega n2 would be equal to under the root k into m1 plus m2 divided by m1 m2 so what you need to understand from a unrestrained or semi definite or uh, degenerate system is the fundamental natural frequency of the system would be zero it would always be zero a semi definite system or a unrestrained system or a degenerate system all things all three names are the same okay so the fundamental natural frequency of such a system would be zero so what does this mean Z the zero means it's the moment can be a, a rigid body moment okay the whole thing can move so this is when this moves this also moves so this is a Uh, free movement, so it's a rigid body motion. So that is the meaning of omega n one equal to zero. And there is, since it's a two degree of freedom system, so there is omega n two as well. So this is omega n two. So the main point that you need to remember is, in a semi-definite system, the first natural frequency or the fundamental natural frequency or the lowest natural frequency is zero. So with this uh, understanding we'll uh, go to the multi degree of freedom system for a, a semi definite case in the next video thank you